Today, my assembly of professional haters extraordinaire, I bring you a delicacy of demented delight and decadent dick kicking. I have come to present to you a fetishist who films in women's bathrooms, tries to film women under the bathroom stalls, and then claims that they are the victim of the women whose privacy they just invaded. I know, that's pretty impressive, right? Let us now learn this new form of hating on people from our friend who sits to pee. Did you see that? He was insane. Now you see that? That's called projection. Just walking in, calling other people insane when you know you're the problem. Walking into a women's restroom while many people would not consider you to be one. Live streaming and loudly talking while the lady in the next stall is trying to properly poop everything out of her so her husband can enjoy some clean batty play later. I think that's what they call it in Britain. So reason one, this person is terrible. They're obnoxious as hell, narcissistic, and assume that since they don't want even a moderate amount of privacy while taking a dump, no one does. Also an important zoom in right here. This person absolutely just placed their phone under a woman's bathroom stall. Look, there it is. Look at those eyes. I know it's in the bottom and it's hard to see because Miss Thang here was trying to hide that fact, going out of its way to hide that, but it's looking the phone right in the eye. Knows exactly where it's placed and why would you even place your phone that close to the side of the stall anyway? Sorry to pause so early, but these were important details you have to know before we move forward into the immediate turn into victimhood and oppression for this brave individual who is just trying to exist and be their authentic queer neurodivergent self while live streaming your wife or daughter on the toilet. Problem? You better not have a problem, or you're a Nazi and radical terrorist in Austin might throw bricks at your head! No, I didn't add that. God provided that chirp. That chirp will always alert us to a human piece of shit in our midst. Even when there is no active smoke detector in the vicinity, God will find a way to give us the chirp. This time, I think it was a rubber sole of a shoe on a floor. But you know what? The effect is the same, friends. Ew, why the fuck did you just kick my camera? I don't know my fucking phone. No, I didn't have it under your fucking stall at all. You just kicked it on my fucking dick. Literally my fucking dick. That's what you did. What's wrong with you, turf? So now we can see the woman who was being illegally filmed in the bathroom by this upstanding member of the community stand up. Her face is on the video and pull up her pants. And then kicks the phone back under the stall. You should feel lucky. Frankly, I'd have snatched it up and thrown it in the toilet. As we can see, the immediate first defense of these people is deny and fake victimhood. As we heard, this person in lady pants was already calling someone else insane just walking in. Everyone else is nuts, right? I guess these people never did acid. Hey, it's not everyone else who is fucked up. You are the one in the room being an asshole right now. You could probably also benefit from some of that loss of ego. Oh, and also, this individual wearing panties over a man package is now the victim of their genitals being filmed in the restroom. Oh, surprise, the very thing they're guilty of. This is amazing. This is literally, let's just say a transgender woman walking into a lady's room while live streaming filming under the bathroom stall, and then when caught, trying to say that the woman violated its privacy. You kicked it on my dick. Well, maybe don't very specifically, and while you can see you are watching, slide it under a woman's bathroom stall. Listen, bro, real talk. Had that been someone's wife or daughter in that stall, I would have no pity for you when you walked out of that bathroom and got treated like a man who just pulled that crap. These people have no narrative if not a victim narrative. If they could not be the untouchable endangered human and be the constant victims of the world, what would be left for them? I'm starting to think this trans genocide lie is so important because victimhood is the only validation some of these people have. And without that, they would wither and die like an unwatered plant. Except that isn't even enough. 
Due to your own self-destructive lifestyle choices and mental illness, your self-worth depreciates at the rate of bananas sliced in half on the counter. If some people do not receive a constant stream of hollow online validation despite their crimes and their wrongs to replace everything else in their life they destroyed, they just can't go on living. Also, last important note, women don't do this. Trans community, don't defend this guy. You get called perverts, pedophiles, and fetishists enough, don't you think? This person right here is making every right-wing mouthpiece right. Try using your dreaming brains for thinking thoughts one of these days. Did you really want to fucking show my dick? That's what you wanted? I have a fucking dick, bitch. The fuck? Literally, a fucking dick. You literally showed my fucking dick, you fucking bitch. Yeah, we know you have a dick. Is this some kind of pass for you to slide your phone under women's stalls? I have a dick, I can't do that shit. And we don't really need you to tell us that. You're not exactly passing. Now this person who violated another person's privacy is screaming about their dick on a live stream to ladies trying to use the bathroom. And the lady trying to use the bathroom is the bitch! And they wonder why women don't want them in there. I just want to pee and film you and make TikToks playing with myself. Is that so wrong? In a public place, yes. You just fucking showed my dick. That's not fucking funny. Like, at all. And you fucking expect me to show my fucking hand. Like, ew, you fucking bitch. Ew, you're fucking gross. Yeah. Exactly. Why the That's fuck did right. that bitch show my dick in the camera? And this is how the legend of trans victimization happens. Man walks into bathroom, films woman peeing. Woman barely taps his camera to move it from under the stall. Suddenly this makes the transgender person a victim of bigotry. And friends, this is how the legend of trans victimization happens. A man walks into a bathroom, films a woman using the bathroom. The woman barely taps his camera with her foot to move it from under her stall. Suddenly, this makes the transgender person a victim of bigotry, where she was just trying to be her queer, neurodivergent, authentic Laura self, and this monster turf came in and kicked open its bathroom stall door, called it a true, and then started filming his lady penis. That is the story it came out of the bathroom with. That is the story it will carry back to the quote trans and LGBT community of victimization. You heard it. Just like certain queer bloggers leave out that someone is a child sex offender before trying to rally the Austin LGBT community around them, this person also is omitting some pretty large parts of the truth. And it seems to happen that way a lot. Activists hitting others and then claiming that they were attacked. This is the desired effect. And why not? You're dealing with people who are denying a pretty substantial part of reality from the moment they wake until the moment they rest many of whom are completely radicalized into believing they are under threat of literal genocide without realizing in the same breath when they're asked, okay, who's killing you? The only answer that can be accurately provided is, we are. Which frankly is no one else's problem. That's not a genocide. Do you know who is just trying to exist in this situation? The lady minding her own business, taking a piss in the bar bathroom. But like we saw, the tale that will be told and written about on social media, etc. Any case where the person is not stupid enough to film it is that this woman just busted in and started making dick films of this innocent trans person in a bathroom stall. I will never not question these victim narratives because of videos like this. And the fact that a substantial portion of certain communities will definitely come out to support this person. Ignoring all the facts, claiming that they're trying to be genocided, it's all bullshit. Remember to like this video and subscribe because for some reason it makes a difference if I say that. And remember friends, don't kill yourself. Live life in every breath. Later.